Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this exclusive Canva tutorial. And the reason why I'm saying exclusive is because this particular design we are about to make is something I have longed to be able to do inside of Canva. And let's play the cards right. Where Canva is at the moment, it's not at the level where Photoshop is. But the thing is, with the tools Canva has provided and the features they keep on coming up with can help us to create designs that just to look as if they were made in Photoshop. This design we are about to create is something I created entirely in Canva, no external element whatsoever. And I believe that, look, Canva is really getting powerful. So if you are interested in creating this with me, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get into the design, one more thing I would want to say is I would love you to try Canva Pro if you are on the free version or if you think you have the um, the budget right now to upgrade to Canva Pro, I believe it's one of the best things you can do to improve on your business or the best investment you can make on your business because the thing is Canva Pro helps you so much, helps you so much. Honestly, you wouldn't believe it, but once you start using it, that's when you realize the um, possibilities with Canva Pro. Because when you're working with clients, there are certain things like uploading custom um, fonts, there are certain things like creating separate brand kits for certain clients, all of these things, and even with the background remover, working with teams and all of that, this becomes very flexible inside with Canva Pro. So it's something I think you should, you know, be able to do, or if you think you're not ready yet, you can still try out, you know, Canva Pro for free by checking the link in the description box below. So without any much ado, let's dive straight into the design and let me show you everything you need to know. Right, so this is the design we are about to make and you can see it's looking very beautiful, very classic and very mind-blowing. So let me just, you know, I created um, a new page here just for us to start. So the first thing we are going to do is to come into photos, which I'm already in and just search for um, 9th Street, okay? So when you, when you search for 9th Street, there are so many images you are going to see and this is the one I'm going to use. Okay, so I just select it, right click and set the image as background so this is what we have at the moment select the image come to edit image in edit image we are going to adjust because everything needs to be adjusted uh, i know it's nonsense i'm saying but it's fine <laughs> yeah then come to blur and increase the blurriness okay don't increase it too much but somewhere like 16 or you can go up to 20 which is very cool for us okay so you can see we've been able to deal with the background so looking at it what else do you think we are going to do we are now going to find our image so i you know come back to what i was working on i come to um photos again just to click on that i come to see or just in the recently used um photos okay and there is this image i actually use so if i right click you see this okay so this is what you have to search Portrait of young woman wearing 90s fashion. So when you do that, you're going to find a lot of interesting images. Okay, so um, just search for that and you see so many. This is one of them. You can see this is another one of the same type and you get a lot. Okay, so I will just select, you know, the lady and then um, we have her over here. Come to edit image and in edit image, you just have to click on remove background so at this point you would have to wait for canva to do its thing so this is what i have to say just in case you're on the free version of canva and you still think you are not ready to try canva pro or even to upgrade to canva pro what you can do is you can use um tools like remove the bg or you can use stickermill.com slash trace to be able to remove the background of your images once you do that you upload it into canva so that you can continue with the tutorial but you know this just adds a lot of steps to you know to whatever steps we have to follow okay and um yeah i think that's it let's dive back into the design because i think our design is already cooking hot okay so this is what we have at the moment so i just crop my image okay according to how i want it and make sure if you are on the Canva pro make sure your design is saved and click on apply also okay so you just have to take your time so it's saying design save before you continue okay so you can crop it and increase it okay, so this is what we have at the moment and we'll increase it more okay so we just keep cropping and we'll just center her over here you can see that's what we have at the moment so now press t on your keyboard for text if your text is on a holiday 
come to text over here and then um, you just click on add a heading okay so once you do that we will just um, use any text at all so i'll just still go for the text i use which is badass i know i don't usually use these words but i just thought it fits the design so well then come into your um, text area and choose any text at all you want in this case this is an uploaded font i added into canva but some other ones you can use uh bebas new okay and we have um just search for gothic i believe you will get some interesting ones over here okay so once you go through you see some okay so this we have also the shader gothic sans which i believe is one of the font um you can use but i'm going for the ones i use which was the champion gothic okay then i increase the size okay and position it here and at this point i will drop my image a little bit okay so i would increase it more then come here okay to the triple dot click on position and center it if you're on the desktop version sorry um if you are on the browser version this is the canva app but if you're on the browser version you will just see position okay then just position it to the center then we right click and send it to the back so you can see where we are going to very easy very beautiful very fantastic and very <laughs> uh, i don't know i'm just hyped okay so after you do that duplicate your text okay and position it there come to effect and come to neon you understand so this is how it's looking right now and with the intensity we'll reduce it a little bit come to um text color okay and change the color to any of the colors you have over here so you can also use the color picker okay then you just pick any color at all you want okay but i would use the brighter one we got then right click and send it to the back so you can see how it's, how it's looking and what we are going to do next is press control okay and keep clicking till you get the text at the back and how you know is the color will change to purple which means that's the text you have at the back and use your arrow key to adjust you know your text so this is what we have at the moment which is looking very very beautiful and that's what we have over here okay so duplicate your text again okay and you can see, use any word at all you want so you can see night or any other text you want i'm just going for night so maybe if you want to go for party or anything you can just do that increase the size you know very large mine is at 738 then come to effect click on hollow and reduce the thickness okay so you can reduce it to something like two increase it you know just make sure you have everything showing and we reduce it a little bit center it then you know we adjust it but i think to oh what did i do okay to make sure all the rotation are equal you can select everything okay all the text and adjust them together okay so this is what we have then right click on this text and send it to the back and increase the size so you can see what we have at the moment then you can come to transparency and reduce the transparency of the text you have behind okay so this is what we have at the moment which is looking very very beautiful okay so we added some text at the top okay and some interesting text over here so that's what we are going to do next press t on your keyboard again and um I'm using popping so you can just say a special teens night okay so that's what i said a special teens night okay a special teens no i just say a special teens okay then you know it continues but if it's looking um i think the text is not enough for me so i'll just add more it's a special and exclusive okay teens night and i would increase this and position it here you understand just to make everything look beautiful the rotation is not the same so we'll just okay adjust adjust okay lovely 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 and i'll increase it and position it here okay so after you do that the next thing we're going to do is to work on all the text we have over here you can see it's very simple so um i will just duplicate this one okay bring it here adjust it to zero and i'll just say special guest okay that's what we have over here then we add all the things but i think i'll just copy these ones okay so that we don't waste so much time okay so i just 
added my text so this one is also the champion gothic okay and how i was able to get this um purple thing at the middle is i just highlighted it okay and changed the color to purple okay so that's all i did now what you can do is you can come back to element and you can search for gradient to white okay so when you search for gradient to white you get a lot of you know this type of gradient you understand so many interesting um ones of them we have you can choose any of them and um, with some of them you should be able to adjust the color so if you're not finding the appropriate one you just need to keep trying um the ones or you can come to graphics okay and in graphics you should find any one that would help you to adjust the color but the thing is there's one i have actually uploaded um, onto my canva and i have it in my google drive okay so the link can be found in the description box below so i will scroll down and take my time to find it so what you can also do is you can check the google drive folder and i believe you should be able to find it if you do not find it you can go to cliparts.com and search for um gradient shadow okay and another thing is i'm coming up with an element website where any element i get to use on my tutorial will be uploaded there so in this case you just go to the website and download it as easy and simple as that so let me just um, fetch the elements i'm talking about then you can continue okay all right so this is what i was referring to so i just added okay in my position here then i would increase the size and drag it all the way over here maybe to extend it a little bit then we come to position and center it okay then duplicate it i didn't would i say duplicate double click and drag it up okay so that you know we can actually see our text very very sweet so i think we've done majority of the things over here so now we just have to add these ones which i'm just going to copy because i believe i believe it's something you can handle okay so i just duplicate it and then paste it over here so now the next thing is making your design look very interesting like we have so come into element and in element you search for chains chains okay and um, when you search for it come to photos you see so many interesting ones this one has a shadow and that's not the one i want to go in for but if we don't find what i use we just go in for that okay so i think we are finding a lot with background so come to the filter scroll down and tick on the cutout only and apply the filter so you see now we are finding a lot of um chains with um you know interesting chains that's what i mean so we are just simply going to find one that we can actually use you can go in for this which is cool position it like this and drag it here but there was a curved one and if i'm not finding it i can just go into photos and maybe yeah in my recently used okay i think oh, okay so you know this this is some of the ones i use so you just rotate it this way and i can also position this one over here in this one over here and maybe to even reduce the size a little bit so depending on how what's happening to my canva okay so depending on how you want it to look you can just do that okay then come to edit image in edit image we come to adjust then we increase the blurriness of this chain not too much okay but something slight somewhere like 30 right click and send it to the back okay yeah, maybe you can increase the size and bring it forward a little bit so you want to bring it forward oh, it should be behind the shadow but you can just come to position and you can use the forward or backward okay so that's what you can do and we will just position it down here okay then we'll do the same for this one to we would increase the blurriness of this okay then maybe increase the size the blurriness is too much okay and we'll just also send it behind so just click and send it behind and i think we can also increase it this way nice one so now duplicate and bring it to the top okay no, something like this okay there was one with a shadow yeah this one okay initially i said no to that but yeah i think we can still use it okay so you can bring this one here and you can come to edit image adjust the gain and increase the blurriness of it beautiful all right 
then drag it here and we'll just bring it to the front okay then click duplicate and rotate okay so you can see how this is looking so just how everything is looking i'll take this one off and maybe i'll take what we have you know behind also off and i'd rather use this one okay so maybe i'll rotate this one like this and position here even with this i sent it backwards so it's everything just has to be behind the gradient shadow and i position this one also over here so you can see what we have been able to create so we can also adjust things a little bit so click on it come to edit image come also uh, in adjust and since everything is looking purple we would adjust it to purple you understand the tint to purple and just select all of this and copy it okay the filter code click on this one come to the filter code select or okay, select or clear it and paste the new one so you see everything has just been applied then we can do the same thing for this one too so come to adjust and clear the filter code and paste it okay so you can see an interesting thing you could actually do okay so adjust clear and paste okay so this is what we have been able to do inside of canva so i hope you found this video helpful if you did hit on the like button if you want more canva tutorials okay you can also hit on the subscribe button because trust me there are new tutorials coming up every week and one more thing i would also want to say is i'm upgrading my workstations and the things i use to produce um canva tutorials like this one to you so if you want to support there's a paypal link i have in the description box below that can help you you know be a part of this and one more thing i would also love to say is i wish remember there is no limit to creativity the name is benjamin and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.